This is our new build, Netja. She's an Ajet 340 from 1991, and we bought her in the city Asker, just south of Oslo. After we bought our new boat, we decided to sail home to Copenhagen, Denmark in the summer holidays. Normally, you can do the sail in around 2 to 3 days, but we decided to take 2 weeks for the whole trip to be able to experience the beautiful Oslofjord along with the Swedish west coast. Our harbour for the night was Horten, but before that we had to go to Volden Harbour, which is just a 15 minute sail to get some fuel and groceries. We left Volden and was now headed for Horten, which will take around 5 hours. We arrived in Horten around 5 o'clock in the afternoon and we enjoyed the live music that were playing from a nearby restaurant at the harbour. The weather was nice and sunny at the time, but there was a big low pressure system coming in from the west, which was forecasted to hit us the next day. And it did. We decided to stay in Horten for one more day and wait for the weather to clear. The next day the weather cleared up and we now prepared for leaving the harbour and continuing south to Tunsberg. We were still blowing around 10 to 15 meters per second, but luckily we were still protected by the Oslofjord. Wrote my desires, and I hear them away. Locked inside my house, I fear my strange way. 
In my youth I was drowning In tears of a friend Time was a strange concept I couldn't hear the head We had to pass two bridges in order to reach Tunsberg, and while we waited, the current was very strong, but thanks to our bow thruster and some good maneuvering by our captain Alan, we managed to pass the bridges safely. There were almost no spots left, but thankfully we managed to find one eventually. The next day we left beautiful Tunsberg and continued south to finally sail across Gerak to Skjærhalden. The first couple of hours we were sailing inland surrounded by big rocks with small houses or villages and people taking sun or swimming, though it was only around 18 to 20 degrees celsius.
The last few rocks were slowly disappearing in the background and we were now headed to be completely out in the open where the waves in the southwest had hundreds of kilometers with high winds and a lot of time to build height and length. Join us on the next episode where we cross Skyarak and for the first time experience how our new boat handles in bigger seas along with a beautiful sail inland to Bovalstrand and Elos in Sweden.